My allies dwindle and my enemies multiply. If you're going to bite the hand that feeds, make sure you have sharp teeth and clench down as long and as hard as you can. Coming for that ass in that BMW. Gonna have you home by a quarter past two. We'll go to crack a barrel and I'll bring you right back with a smile on your face and your hymen intact. Do we dare go to the New York International Auto Show? Our secrecy is a sacrament. Do we dare do this? Who knew what kind of steroid-injected big three Joe Fixits were waiting for the Roman and I? We did have a contact there. The kind of engineer who made doors open, wristbands appear, and hotel rooms become available. All while wearing Chuck Taylors with a nicely fitted suit. But was he on our side, I wondered. That's the rotten truth in journalism. Automotive or not, we'll cite any source, except our own. I just hope when this is all over and his inbox is full of angry emails with attachments carrying ominous file extensions, he'll have made enough money off of me to care. So, like the good doctor before me, this is a chainsaw Joycean stream of consciousness narration, not a clickbait friendly top 10 what's new report on the 2014 New York International Auto Show. 7 a.m. Passenger manifest from Kutztown, Pennsylvania to Port Authority bus terminal in Manhattan. Four passengers. Passenger one, gray-haired man in a windbreaker who speaks English only as a second language. Passenger 2, a man in a polo shirt. He is from Pottsville and he knows the driver. Passenger 3, the Roman. Passenger 4, myself. Anticipation and fear did battle with my logical side. There were too many risks in this endeavor. I needed to be rested. I try not to think of television cameras and the manufacturer's bank accounts, obese enough to buy out any of your congressional rights. Half sleep came, but only half sleep. I wake up at the Lincoln Tunnel, all cars subject to search. Thirteen dollars to enter the Big Apple. Cars snuggled ass to mouth as we reach the glorious milestone called Almost. Rust rivets, daylight, school buses full of indifferent adolescents, women walking with Macklemore hair. We arrive. This is it, New York. City. I'm running on about five hours sleep, maybe less. Yes, I know other people can survive on less hours of sleep, but that's them, not me. I need a full nine hours of sleep to function properly. When you grow up in the country, you become accustomed to things, and sound circadian rhythm is one of those. We approach Jacob Jarvitz Center, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. We're walking against the wind, and a glass and steel monstrosity arises before us. It was dreamt up by Joseph Gordon Levitt in one of his jobs that he didn't complete. We approach the line for press registration. Forty-year-old toupees from established automotive journals sigh and lean on the counter. This is too much for them. They expected their own express line. Why do they have to register with everybody else? I kept a poker face and walked forward. In a calm, clear voice, I announced my name, presented my driver's license, and then we hit our first problem. The distracted clerk asked me what publication I write for. Don't hesitate. Answer immediately. Be slightly bored. Regular car reviews, ma'am, I said. She was too groomed to have watched any of our content, that's for sure. She handed me a laminate, lanyard, and a wristband, and ditto for the Roman. Regular car reviews now had full press access to the 2014 New York International Auto Show. With batteries charged and clipboards at the ready, we entered.